This week leading up to Earth Day, we are showcasing the people who are working to protect life here on Earth. We've talked this week about endangered animals, and today we are looking into threatened plants. Protected habitats all across the country provide us with clean water, purified air, even medicine. National environmental correspondent David Schechter shows us how rare and endangered plants in the U.S. There are 154 forests in the National Forest System, none with a larger bounty of plants, animals, and habitats than El Junque National Forest in Puerto Rico. Places like this are medicinal to the soul, to the heart, and you belong to nature. Mm -hmm. You have to come to these places to heal yourself. I'm headed into the forest with park ranger Victor Cuevas and volunteer Michelle Lopez Lorenzo. They're telling me at a time when one million species on the planet are threatened with extinction, that protecting wild places is one of our best defenses to save our living treasures, like the Tabanuco tree. Victor says the sap of the tree has medicinal qualities. Take a pinch of the most transparent. This is, this is newer sap, huh? That's enough. Right. It's like um, very herbal. Not any feeling. I'm starting tongue. to lose the feeling in my tongue right now. <laughs> that's that's what it is. So this is you know if you have a cavity, if you have a toothache, this um, was and is the traditional way to one of the many traditional ways also, to remedy that. It also tastes wonderful. The Tabanuco has long been used in traditional folk medicine, but new research suggests its value as a pharmaceutical is largely untapped, and that the class of trees it belongs to has potential to treat diverse cancers, cardiovascular, and neurological diseases. The Tabanuco still exists today because El Junque was protected against logging and development, and land conservation is helping to protect many other species across the country like the endangered yellow hibiscus, the state flower of Hawaii, and the Nichols Turks Head Cactus in Arizona. The only way that the people who are experts in this are going to be able to study these trees is if there's a healthy, abundant population. Today, conserving wild places like El Junque sustains a huge variety of plants and animals that live here. Tomorrow, it might help sustain us with remedies we don't yet know about. And David joins us now to continue the conversation. So you mentioned plant and animal species threatened across the country. We have to uh, assume that's true for New York and New Jersey. Absolutely. I mean, they're everywhere across the country. Every state has them. But bear in mind that most of these are not things that are household names, you know, they, they, but they do tell us this larger story because when plants and animals are threatened with extinction, it's often a result of things that we do like land development. So what's impacting one species is, li- is likely impacting many others. Okay. So tell us about some plants here. Right, I have a couple for you. I have a plant for you. So there's the Houghton's Goldenrod Flower. You know about that one? I can't say I do. There's just, it's found in just in one county, in Genesee County, upstate, between Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. It thrives off the dynamics of the lake, but it's suffering from development. They're building marinas up there. There's some sand mining around there. That's threatening that plant. But medicinal qualities. That does not have medicinal qualities, no. but it is, it is an endangered plant, and it's very, very rare. Got what it. about some animals in our area? I'll tell you, I've got a couple for you. How do you feel about bats? Not a fan. Not a big fan? No. No. All right. Well, the northern (laughs) long-eared bat is critically endangered. It can be found in both New York and New Jersey. Its population has declined by 99% since 2006 from this terrible wildlife disease that's killed millions of bats in North America. And I've got one more for you, and it's this little guy, just a few inches long. He's the smallest turtle in North America. A bog turtle can live for 50 years. They're in New Jersey, and they've they've disappeared from 50% of their range in the last 20 years due to loss of habitat for agriculture and development. They are listed, uh, in the, they've been listed in the state as endangered since 1973. So let's let's save that bog turtle. Yeah, by the way, it looked like a spiritual journey going back to Puerto Rico in the forest there. Amazing to just like walk up to this, you know, root of a tree and they, they know what it is and just looks, I have no idea what it was. He's like, you should taste this. But did it really taste wonderful? Like it, My whole mouth just went numb putting it in there, you know, and so they have these, they've known for so many years that these things have medicinal qualities, but pharmaceutically, they may have potential. Let's see. The Incredible. Your stuff. Yeah. Very nice. David, thank you so much. Thanks for having Great me. Great to have you with us. And you can watch David's full 30-minute special called Protecting Life on Earth. It's this Saturday night, 730, on our streaming channel, CBS News New York.